Hello, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. And maybe you've heard of people talking about playing a 1-4-5 chord progression, but you don't really know what that is. Well, today I'm going to show you how to play the 1-4-5 chord progression, so you'll be able to play all over the guitar neck. And that's coming up! Welcome and thanks for coming to your Guitar Guide channel where I'm going to help you find your sound through guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. So if this is your first time at the channel, have a look around. If you like what you see, go ahead and consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks. And if you're already a subscriber, thanks for supporting the channel. The 145 chord progression is found in a lot of genres, rock and roll, country, blues. So once you learn the positions I'm going to teach you, then it'll open up the guitar to hundreds, if not thousands, of new songs for you. Let's stop the chit-chat and let's start in the key D. Talking about the one chord, that's the root chord, or the tonic, or the, the home bass chord. So we're going to start in D. I'm going to use this chord here. And... First, we're going to use your first finger on the fifth string at the fifth fret. Then you're going to bar strings four, three, and two with your third finger. And you don't want to play the sixth string, so just nudge that first finger up against the sixth string. So if you're strumming away, you don't actually... the sixth string but you're not hearing it because I've got it muted with my first finger so that's the one chord then we want the four chord the four chord is the G how do I know where the G begins because I know the notes on the fretboard how can you learn the notes on the fretboard you can go over to yourguitarguide.com and there's a link in the description of this video so you can get access to that. We're going to bar all the strings on the third fret. Then your third finger is going to be on the fifth string at the fifth fret. Your pinky will be right under it on the fifth fret, fourth string. And then your second finger will be on the G string, which is the third string at the fourth fret so that's a G part of remembering this is if that's the four chord if you go two frets up that's gonna be the five chord so which is the A your fingers are on the same strings you're just moving up two frets. So it's... The good thing about that is you can move it anywhere on the guitar neck. So to move it, let's say we're playing the C. So the root is the C, and we've got the F, which is the four chord, and then we've got the G, which is the five chord. Once you find the one, Go back two frets and up a string. Play the bar chord. And then move down two frets. And that is the fifth chord. So let me show you a different way to play a 1-4-5. A 1-4-5 in the key of A. And this is, the A is on the sixth string at the fifth fret. Using the same bar chord 
that we just went over. But we moved it up to the fifth fret of the sixth string. So that's going to be the one, the root chord. And the four chord is going to be the D. We just learned that shape. Notice how it's right under the A. Begins on the fifth string at the fifth fret. And we said if we move it up two frets, that'll be the five chord. So we've got A, D, the guitar neck so if someone came up to you and say okay we're gonna play this song and it's in the key of G and it's a one four five in the key of G so we would find the root which is on the third fret we already learned how to make the bar chord so we got the G then we need to find the four chord which is the C so once you've got those two uh, even this pattern here you can go up two to the D that's the five of the key of G And I can help you with that. The links are in the description. And there's also, over at yourguitarguide.com, a cheat sheet with all the keys on it. I'll leave the link in the description. And if you like this video, can you give me a thumbs up, click the like button, share it with your friends, and leave me a comment. And don't forget to watch that video right there. Thanks.